Alright, what's going on YouTube? Um, so I guess today I got maybe like another, like a follow-up video to my previous one. Well, I kind of just ranted on Monster Hunter Rise. And I just noticed the distinctions and sort of like the, the new changes. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit more familiar with the game now. So... <coughs> I learned to like appreciate the the bugs a little more, the abilities they give you, and then just the, the moveset in general for for mostly every weapon. Uh, they have like different options, you know. So sword and shield might have like a from a swinging a swing from using your bug into like just a slice, or um, go for like an uppercut move. I'm mainly dwelling into longsword use. Uh, at first, I started with <laughs> greatsword because that's what I used to. Be. I'm used to playing. I think I was like the main sword of main back in like last time I played Monster Hunter. But this time, it feels like just the longsword is really good. And it's just like I don't know. I think it's a little us. Uh, I don't want to say slow, but. Compared, compared, the longsword does seem a little bit overpowered than the greatsword. I think it was just about even the last Monster Hunter game, but this one, it's just a bit easier. The longsword gives you like, you got like a counter, the, just the slice is pretty good. You like instantly level up in exchange for a bug. But the bugs do have cooldowns. I mean, you get two by default, and then the third one you can pick it up on random areas around the map. So if you, <laughs> so the like the, uh, I'm not sure what's it called. Something I just call it the, like the bug slice. Cause that's what you use. You throw out your bug, and you kind of just <laughs> he holds in place while you, you use the momentum to strike him twice. And every it's a you can strike them a total maximum amount of twi two times. You could hit them once or twice because I guess there's two hits to it. And for every hit you land it, there's a like an after burst. I think about five to four explosions, like micro slashes you would call them. So if you hit them once from the actual swing, you'll get one burst. You get three or four, I mean four or five micro slices right after that just do like a tiny bit of more, like just about uh, a little bit less damage but still good enough. And now if you hit the monster with both uh, hits, you look at two bursts. So it's it's a it's just a pretty fun new move. I don't think this move was like in any other game as far as I can remember. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I, I haven't been playing Greatsword as much, but I think it's just, I do, I did make one on the game, but it's, it, it's just fun, but I just, it sometimes it feels like I'm, I guess I just spend more time with the longsword, so I just, I would just, have to like improvise on it, just switching weapons. So I switched to uh, Sword and Shield too. And that's it's pretty fun, I guess. But it's, I guess, going to those weapons, Sword and Shield. Um, I guess if we, go, I guess I'll jump into like, kind of what I've noticed, and it's that there's no really like, elder, like a water elder dragon. As far as I can see in this game, I mean, there's some water weapons, but just not an elder dragon, you know, to like defy the best weapon for that element. Because when you're fighting monsters, you want to uh, fight them using their, you know, I guess you'd say like their their weakness. You know, a Tyrex will be like a thunder, like you know, he'll cry to thunder. A dragon will be like a second. And everything else he doesn't really care care for. 
um, ranging armor is like really good for that matter just because it's only a real weakness is ice and the only real uh, ice monster that's a threat I mean once you're up there will be uh, Kishala Dora like the ice elder dragon and um, so I, that's like I noticed uh, Kushala would just kind of like will blast you if you have a uh, raging armor while other pe other basically everything else uh, nothing phases the damn beast so he's like the anti-dragon armor you could say because you know he doesn't care about dragon fire uh, water and uh, thunder he's like you know, Thunder's laugh, laughable damage, if it even damages him, because he is Thunder. And everything else he can shake off, except for Ice. And so the the Rage Ain't Killer, it will be like a Kushal Dora weapon, an Ice weapon. But, so, so that solidifies the, you know, the strongest Ice weapon, you know. Um, so going back to what I said before, I do think uh, there needs to be an elder dragon that is like water based. You know, its, it's strongest element is water. So he cre create the water, you know, the best water weapon in the game. Because there's already a best ice weapon, which I mentioned, Kushala. So, so uh, I think that that should be like a monster that is like that hasn't been like released yet. So I'll be sweet seeing an elder, a fire elder dragon, elder dragon, I mean, excuse me, not fire, a water uh, elder dragon. So it makes like a, the best water weapon. Um, I guess in terms of fire weapons, you have Rathalos, but uh, I'm not sure which, which was the best uh, fire dragon, fire sword for previous games because Teostra switched from fire to a uh, blast and the uh, same same goes for uh, Luna Star which is uh, a missing Elder Dragon you know there's still a, a few missing Elder Dragons uh, Lunastra um, I'm not sure if Atalus will be making this scene I know he came out in World but to see it, to see it here, will, you know, will be a, a good welcome because Vitalis is, you know, he's that dragon you you expect in every game. He's like the the final final boss, if you could say. So, uh, you know, there's still a bit more uh, missing monsters. You got silver and gold. Uh, silver Rathalos, which is the which is Rathalos' strongest version. You have Gold Rathian, which is her strongest version. And the... Yeah, so I feel the, the Rathalos weapons could use a boost at the moment. I think their, their max rarity, in terms of their weapon, is a 6. Which is second to last in the game. 7 is the strong, the best rarity. Which is uh, coated red. So, I, I just think that you need to add a... Either add a, a duo fire elder dragon. I think Fatalis had a fire version of himself. There was a red Fatalis that was like fire based. There was a black Fatalis which was, uh, I think, just dragon based then. And the white one, which I think was dragon based. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they could have all been uh, dragon based, but I do remember. Each color of Fatalis, red, black, or white, had a. I'm not sure of slightly different stats. There could have been slightly. I do think the red one was like fire, fire based in a sense. And the black one was dragon, and the white was same thing, dragon, I believe. But yeah, seeing Fatalis in this game would be sweet. Um. I didn't really 
get to play the one version in the world, but um, from what I remember, unlike old, uh, Ultimate, I mean Unite, there was some there was some some battles that you could like, you know how they how they'll throw you in like arenas. I think another monster that threw you like in a similar arena was just you know you, you're in the base and this just one arena. Back in like Unite was a uh, Yama Tsukami, which is like this tentacle being. It's been a long time since I see that monster. Like I think I'm not sure when was the last time he was out, but he was in the world and see him in, seeing him in, in this in this. Um, with these mechanics would be like really sweet because his one shot would be you know maybe you could cancel it with the bug or you know use the bug to escape the is a uh, it's like uh, all like it's his mighty pool but you can't really escape it if you, it was a one shotter and the only way to make it out was if one of your buddies ate a life powder as you were falling and if you life powder you, you could still live. You have a, you had a bit of animation time to save him. Like he ha he'll have no health, but you can still save him. So, so they could have like a good, a good uh, way to bring him back. It'd be pretty fun to see in uh, Yamato Kami. And Rise, uh, going back to yeah, so Silver, Silver, Rathalos. Which would be a strongest version. If they don't want to add a fire elder dragon, they should bring back the silver and the gold forms. So they could also they'll make Silver Rothlos have the strongest fire sword. You know, make it a rarity seven. Because uh, right now it's at a six. You know, there's not there's not even a blue Rothalos, which is uh, which is kind of missing too, but yeah, the the pink Rithian, Blue Rathalos, Silver Rathalos, and Gold Rathian are missing. So that's, that's another monster they could bring back. Talus and those two. Uh, there was other, also a few alternates like the Molten Tyrex. Which, I mean, I think it was just more aggressive. I think in this version, it's not as uh, scary. I think the Molten will be like a really good one. They need to bring back like the that roaring factor a bit more because the current Tyrex is just kind of like it's not his best version again. Um, <clears throat> so what's Stygians and Ogre is another one, you know, bring back Stygians and Ogre so he gives competition for another uh, dragon attribute weapon. And then in general, his his skin and his armor is good, good enough. He does have a he did have a, a good uh, you know his his weapons had no good good stats. So there so there's that. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. So yeah, I'm still wondering if if we can. Uh, you know, they'll they'll be a if we like if they'll bring back some, like return some of these monsters. You know, in the near future. And I guess one thing I could say that I kind of wish I could have like, well, maybe seen. It's like having like a damage sort of calc calculator at the end of like the matches or not the matches but like the hunt just to see like who who could like inflict the most damage or something I don't know or maybe I'll add like a bit more competition to the game but it'll be kind of like a, just like a, a nice a fun addition it's like something that's like never that I've never seen in a in a Monster Hunter game oh uh, but but I mean, who really needs it? Uh, so, I, I guess the boss monsters. I love these uh, 
that's okay. Uh, Thunder. All the dragon. And the dragon. It's like, all the dragon. They're both weak to dragon. That's, uh, that's probably like their best bet. So I think that'll be like most of what I would like say or like would want out of Rise. As far as endgame goes, uh, I still have not reached the maximum level. I think I think after doing the last mission called the like the All Mother, uh, they give you. Then your next step is to become HR 100, which is like, you know, it's still pretty up there. HR 100 is, I think, last time I checked, I had around 70 hours on my character. And I'm about close to HR 70 at the moment. And I'm, I'm guessing you have, I have to reach 100 to even try the. The new added dragon. I've seen a few people with it, with like the armor. It kind of looks like they got like uh, like jetpacks on the back, like just ready. With like a glow, a glowing style to the armor. It's, it's pretty good. So I think I'll be it for the. You know, I am glad to see a uh, Camellius. Um, you know, he's, he's still like a scary monster. He he'll go like complete invisible to like a like a shade of, of like like you'll see the like the silhouette sort of. But he's not fully invisible. I mean, fully yeah, fully invisible. He's just kind of like like you'll see the silhouette so. so slide and then there'll be times where he just you know he'll come he'll completely be gone and i like that his uh they gave him like his his tongue attack so he does have uh, toxin damage so he, he, give, he won't give you poison he'll toxic he'll, uh, he'll multiply it will drain your life way faster than the pokey pokey poison you know say You know, he 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 also has like the tail thump he had on like older games where you just kind of like stand there and just slam the tail up and down. But on this one, they like he slams the tail a bit harder. Like before, it would just like give you tremor, but now he'll actually like burst out rocks as a, like a move. So that's it. That's kind of like I, I guess I'm not really saying the review. It's just not. It's so far the game's great. Uh, yeah, there's still like way more, way more to come. I think, and and it's yeah, it's it's definitely a grind to get to the HR one. So so that'll be it for. For this video, and, uh, well, I think I've rambled enough on the uh, about you know about Monster Hunter for for this episode. Um, yeah, I think that'll do it for like Monster Hunter Rise talks or you know whatever. All right, so peace.